Okay? Now, honeys, welcome back. We've had a week hiatus, but we are now back in the house. House arrest is here, darlings. And over the last few weeks, we've got to chat with some fabulous stars from all over the globe. Now, honeys, many of you who have been following me over the past few years will know that I am a huge Spice Girls fan. So, when our next guest begged me to appear on this show, darlings, well, who am I to refuse? Honeys, let's see who it is. Honey, my guest tonight was part of one of the biggest bands of all time as Sporty Spice in The Spice Girls. Since then, she launched a highly successful solo career and has even starred in some fabulous musicals. Nowadays, she's as busy as ever DJing around the globe, releasing new music, and reuniting with her Spice chums. Honeys, it's Melanie C! Oh my god, I can't believe I am saying these words out loud. Good Abend, Melanie C! How are you, baby? Uh, hi, hello, Vicket! How are you? Oh, you're very good <laughs> on your German, darling. Look, how um, has it been for you in the quarantine, darling? You've been very busy. I've been so busy, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I've been releasing music throughout lockdown and yeah, staying connected with my fans, doing Q and A's and some performances and DJ sets. So I've been keeping myself busy. I feel like you're one of the few people in quarantine who's been more productive. <laughs> Well, it's been interesting because normally, you know, at this point in my campaign, releasing new music, I'd be traveling all over the world, you know, I'd be performing for people and, and I'd be away from home. So it's been nice to be home, but still be able to, you know, entertain people from afar. Is it the workaholic in you? Are you a bit of a workaholic? Do you enjoy the get up and go? I wouldn't say I'm a workaholic. Maybe I should. Um, I think I'm, I have a good work ethic. You know, I come from good stock, good working class roots. So yes. I know it's good to work hard. Yes. Yeah, you, you're not one of these people who, you know, some people feel guilty now that everything's slowed down and you, you know, you're being forced to stay home. Some people get, oh, I need to be doing this. I need to be doing that. I need to, you, you don't feel like that. No, do you know what? I think it's been a really important time for people to pause, you know? And like, some days I was like feeling that I wasn't achieving anything, but I think yes. it's really important to realize that sometimes that's okay. You know what I mean? I think it's been hard for some people because we are, we're on a treadmill, aren't we? We're always like rushing around, being really busy. So it's been good to kind of just kind of have a reboot. That's true, that's true. I mean, look, frankly, I think the most important thing is that you still look great. And you are doing that. Well done, <laughs> you know. Hey, hey, only when I'm on these calls. <laughs> the rest of the time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wanted to ask you, how, you know, the quarantine, everybody's doing all these fitness things, everybody's got an app. You are the fitness queen. I don't know if you can see, but I don't own much in the way of active wear. What are you doing to keep healthy? <laughs> keep you know the sporty spice going on well i find that being active really helps my mental health so even though sometimes i've felt like well i really don't feel like it i know getting out getting some fresh air has been really helpful i've been doing some online yoga oh. and i've been riding my bike i love cycling um i've just started working out well kind of in an outdoor gym um which is kind of fun i really miss the gym i miss the social interaction and lifting heavy um but yeah but lockdown's easing here in london so we're able to do a bit more now yes yes thanks bojo <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm, no comment no comment darling <laughs> now listen I, I need to know you've been you obviously have got all these songs ready to go they're being released the latest one is called Blame It On Me. It's a little bit of the disco, darlings. I know you've been DJing mm -hmm. more lately the last few years. Was mm -hmm. that a bit of an influence? Yeah, absolutely. I, I love so many different styles of music and I listen to different stuff. Obviously, always a pop artist. Being, you know, being a Spice Girl, I'm very much a pop girl. Um, 
but I have been DJing for two years and I love dance music and house music. I was a raver back in the day. Oh yeah. So that's, yeah. So, and I just think there's some great remixes out there and there's some great records. You know, the Dua Lipa record is fantastic. Isn't it I loved good? Mark Ronson's, so good. I love it, um, I'm yes. I'm loving that. Yeah, and I just feel like there's so much great music out there uh, that I definitely wanted to have a pop, dance, electronic album um, with some thoughtful lyrics so you can have a good dance but you can also have a good cry sometimes. Isn't it? And also I think now with everything's going on, don't we just want to dance as well? I think now is, you yes. know, it's the same when Spice Girls hit. I think they hit at the right time where it's like, can't we just have some fun for God's sakes? I think we're there again more than ever. We are that we are so there i mean can you imagine when this is all done when when life if we can get back to some kind of normality and some positivity the party i mean honey you know honey it's just I gonna be the biggest you. party known to man do you know how much <laughs> i am dying to just break out of this lockdown and just start kissing a whole heap of strangers again i, I mean, know i, I mean, know please i just i just me. want to hug and yeah hug and kiss <laughs> <laughs> and all the good stuff. So is the album going to be in the same vein? Are we going for this kind of pop disco dance madness? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's, you know, there's a little bit of a story. I've gone quite traditional, you know, like with an album, I've wanted there to be a bit of a journey throughout it, but it's predominantly dancey and upbeat, full of bangers. Uh, but there's, there's some other like more interesting, you know, people go, ooh, so there's some different sounds on there, but it's predominantly a dance album, yeah. And what about the, the video clip is uh, Street Fighter? Honey, mm. I take you as a lover, mm -hmm. not a fighter. Where did this idea well, come from? You know, we all have to be a fighter sometimes. True. You know, we have to fight for ourselves. And it was really fun doing this, because obviously, you know, I love martial arts. It made me think back to the Sabre There video with the girls. Um, I had to bring Katrina High Kick out of uh, retirement. And we, there's also, there's lots of references, like in, in the, because it's like a video game. It's inspired like Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat, like 80s, 90s video games. And we, we just wanted to put a bit of interest in there for the fans. So there's some lyrics and song titles. So if people are into that kind of thing, give it a watch and, and see what you can pick up. Now listen, Melanie, I'm so happy you're here in my house arrest. I'm wondering, can you stick around for more after the break? Because I've got, I've got some questions about these girls, these dolls. Absolutely. I'm not going anywhere. Honeys, we'll have more with Melanie C after the break, but give it up for the Ungrateful Bastards. Introducing the Hans Bag. Perfect for holding all of life's essentials like hot pants, feathers, more hot pants. It can even carry the stubby holder that you all should have bought from last week's episode. Get to the Hans website right now. Hansofficial.com Oh yes, honeys, you're watching Hans's House Arrest. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wherever you are tuning in from, we've had people watching from the Americas, from the United Kingdoms, from all over Australia. Interestingly enough, not many people watching from Germany. <laughs> They're just jealous. Now, of course, darlings, each week we have been choosing a fan of the week to go in the running to win this. The very, very last ever Hans bobblehead doll, unless you've managed to find one at the Salvation Army store. And darlings, this week we've got some quotes from all of you, darlings. Sharon wrote in and said, Is that a Thermomix in the background of your kitchen, Hans? Yes, Sharon, it is. And stop stalking me. Giselle said, I can't believe it took so long for you to get this show. I know, Giselle, it's amazing, isn't it? What you can achieve when you follow your dreams, put your mind to it, and when you're paying for the damn thing yourself. But darlings, there can only be one top fan each week, and to find out that person, we cross now to 19 times Logie winner, 
TV legend, earring queen, and COVID connoisseur, Wilsey! Good evening, everyone. I'm in front of the Great Wall of Earrings. It's fantastic. Oh, what do I wear? Now, today's competition winner is Georgia Carr. She sent in this fantastic painting she did herself of hearts. She's going to give Banksy a run for his money. Congratulations, Georgia. Now, what will I wear? Nothing to wear. Thank you, darlings. Thank you, Wilsey. And honey, you're now in the running for the doll. We announce the winner next week. I need some love like I never needed love before. I wanna make love to ya, baby. I had a little love. Now I'm back for... Oh, shit. Mel's still on the Zoom call. Oh, shit. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Melanie. You're still there. Oh, my gosh. Look, you've got Spice Girls girls in the back. Stop, honey. <laughs> I know it's rare for you to meet an excited gay that's a Spice Girls fan, but... <laughs> Mel, last year, exactly this time last year, I turned to a friend of mine at the end of your concert in Manchester and said, you know, I think after this concert, my life is downhill. Little did we know that the world was going to end. <laughs> <but> <laughs> It was a premonition. <laughs> it really was. I mean, look, I hate to say it, but I do think another reunion could actually cure coronavirus. Not to put and, the pressure on. And everything on. else. And everything else that's going on in this strange world. I think I, I, the Spice Girls have... Well, the world has never needed the Spice Girls more than right now. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm putting a word in. I would love to do more shows and we talk about it all the time. So, you know, this year obviously is difficult to talk about yes. planning and booking venues and traveling. Um, but yeah, looking ahead, looking ahead, I'm, I'm hoping that that's on the cards. And are we looking at uh, places you haven't been before, namely Australia? I know you came here with Jesus Christ Superstar. We want to see the Spice Girls. Well, when Mel B dropped the bombshell yes. <laughs> on the last night at Wembley, um, you know, because we were talking about it, you know, quite seriously, you know, personally for me, that's that's top of my list. Um, all of the territories we never got to, we have an incredible international fan base and everyone always comes to us, you know, okay, we've done Europe, we've done North America, yes. but that's it. You know, yeah. we've never got to you guys in Australia. We've never got to Southeast Asia. We've never got to South America. And there's so many fans in those places. So that, that would be my, my number one wish would be to get to all of those fans. I want to know your memories from last year. I mean, being in the audience, can I just say, it was like the biggest hens do you've ever been to. Even on the way there, people were falling yeah. out of cabs, drunk, yeah. dressed up, mm -hmm. fabulous. Mm -hmm. It was just like the mm -hmm. best night out ever. On stage, what is that energy like? I mean, uh, it must have been overwhelming. You know, I've, I've got goosebumps thinking about it. It was Me so too. incredible. Yeah, you know, in the beginning when we used to like come up through the stage. Yes. It was my favourite bit because you literally, you would just be hit by the energy of this audience, you know, and it didn't stop from the minute we hit the stage to way after we left the stage. It was just electric and it completely made it as special as it was, you know, it was down to those audiences. It was amazing. I've never witnessed atmosphere like that at a gig no. ever, you know, no. it was incredible. And you know, I, I, well, first of all, I mean, it's, it's obviously rare for any pop artist to play a stadium tour. To do one, you know, 25 years after you were releasing music, that just must be, I mean, what does that say about the legacy, about the fans? How do you kind of comprehend that? It's amazing, you know, you're right. We were playing bigger venues in 2019 than we were in the 90s at the height of our fame, you know? Crazy. And it just, it, yeah, it just really struck us what an impact we had had on a generation. But not only that, how there's a legacy, you know, like there's a, a generation beyond that, you know, people's children and or younger yes. siblings and it's yeah i mean it, it's kind of it's it, it feels like it's growing you know rather than going away it's growing and and we you know we think that's really important because we're we're so we're so humbled by the impact we've had on so many lives you know whether it is 
through a girl power movement or the support of the LGBTQ plus community. You know, there are so many people that have benefited from feeling like they belong, you know, because we were individuals and none of us are perfect. And, you know, we celebrate our mistakes and just to have a positive impact on people's lives. Um, you know, we, we don't feel like wholly and solely responsible for it, but to have any any impact on people in that way, in a positive way, you know, we have to keep that going. We have to make sure that future generations feel like they belong and that there's equality for all. Well, honey, I mean, you know, speaking on behalf of you know, a, let's face it, a fake German poof on the other side of the world. I can only say mm -hmm. thank you. Danke schön. <laughs> I mean, you, have, you and your Bitte friends schön. have made my life so fabulous. I will always be a Spice Boy. Let me just ask, I mean, before I let you go, you and Mel B in particular on this concert were bringing it. I love her mm -hmm. dearly, but I do need to know during this lockdown, is Jerry practicing some of the dance routines, honey? Let's just be very clear. Come she on. She better be. <laughs> she doesn't want to be getting rusty. <laughs> Melanie C, thank you so much for joining us. We're looking forward thank to you. all your new music. The new single is called Blame It On Me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for mm. this time for many, many years. I adore you. Thank you. It's so lovely speaking to you and, and I miss you all. And I hope to be back in Australia really soon. So please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.